first part of the problem asks us to find the angular acceleration of the ship when it goes from rest to one revolution per minute over the course of 12 minutes. And the formula for angular acceleration, or alpha, is pretty simple. It's just the change in angular velocity, so final angular velocity minus initial angular velocity, divided by the amount of time. So in this case, the final angular velocity is one revolution per minute. So one revolution per minute, which we usually want to represent angular velocity in radians per second. So we multiply by two pi, because two pi radians are equivalent to one revolution. And then we divide by 60, because one minute is equal to 60 seconds. And then minus the initial angular velocity of just zero, because it starts at rest. This is divided by the time interval of 12 minutes. Again, we want to represent this in seconds, so we multiply by 60 to convert from minutes into seconds. If we put that into a calculator, we find an angular acceleration of about 1.454 times 10 to the power of negative 4 radians per second squared, which will round as 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 4 radians per second squared. So that's the answer to part A. Now part B asks for the radial and tangential components of the linear acceleration six minutes after the acceleration started. So the tangential component is pretty easy to find. The tangential component of linear acceleration has a formula where it's equal to the angular acceleration multiplied by the radius. The angular acceleration we just found as 1.454 times 10 to the power of negative 4. And the problem tells us that the ship has a diameter of 8.5 meters, which divide that by 2 to get the radius, and that's 4.25 meters. Put this into a calculator, and it's a, a tangential acceleration of 6.2 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters per second squared. Now, the radial component of the linear acceleration is a little trickier because it requires us to know the instantaneous angular velocity at that point in time. We're going to want to find that using our rotational kinematics equations. So one of the rotational kinematics equations we have that will give us the final angular velocity it says that it's equal to initial angular velocity plus the angular acceleration plus the time interval. So the initial angular velocity is of course zero. The angular acceleration, we found that earlier, it's, it's 1.454 times 10 to the power of a negative four. And then the time is 360 seconds because the problem is specifically asking for six minutes after the ship started that acceleration. So the time is six minutes and converting from six minutes into six in, into seconds, we take the minutes, multiply by 60, and that's 360 seconds. So that gives us an angular speed of 5.234 times 10 to the power of negative two radians per second. So that's the linear, or that, that is the angular speed, the final angular speed. So now let's put, put this into our formula for the linear acceleration radial component, which is the square of the instantaneous angular velocity multiplied by the radius of the ship. So we square 5.234 times 10 to the power of negative 2 and multiply by 4.25. And if we put this into a calculator, then we find 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative two meters per second squared. So this is the radial component of the linear acceleration. And the other thing we found, the 6.2, is the tangential component. So that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request for a future video or a question about this one, leave a comment down below, 
and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.